Hello, Geminis. <clears throat> this is a reading to see who this person is that is uh, taking over your energy. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are interested in a personal, just check out the website at pinkarygem.com and we will get it popping from there. Okay? So let's see. Who is this person that is so off into you guys? Who is this person? Who is this person in Gemini's energy? Who is this person? Okay. Who is this person? Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, this is somebody who is very attractive. I feel like this person almost felt kind of um, smothering to you guys at times. Very fiery energy. Um, could be someone that it's easy to lose their temper at times, but at the same time, be very loving, very, um, very into you. This is somebody who you thought was the one at one time. All of my cars just kind of did something <laughs> on their own. Look at this. So I feel like they could be one way one minute and then all of a sudden, you know, they kind of flip the switch on you guys in an instant, okay? Um, Sagittarius and Pisces energy here as well. This is somebody that you at one point in time felt like, um, you know, they were your person. But something has changed with them. Or something changed with them. There's also something changing within them. This person's having a lot of luck in um, finances and life situations currently. I feel like this person is still looking for the one. They're still looking for the one. I feel like that's you. But I feel like the control, like this situation is up to you. It's, it's up to you whether you guys get back together. It's up to you whether you be together. Um, stay together if you're still with this person. But I feel like this is in your hands. Okay. If you want it, you got it. Virgo Gemini energy. If you want it, you got it. Okay. But I feel like you guys are not focused on this person currently. They, they are still in your energy. And I feel like you still think about them from time to time. But I feel like you're busy doing other things. Hmm. You guys may be um, involved with someone else currently. Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy. Um, but I definitely get that you're very particular about who you share your emotions with currently. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, okay. Cars hopping out. That's that active energy. I feel like this person wants to um, talk things over with you, work things out with you. Aquarius energy. They're willing to take the lead, but I'm getting that <clears throat> for some reason I'm feeling like some of you guys have blocked this person um, either either physically or um, just your energy. Like you you blocked them out, but they want to they want to work things out with you. Okay. Then we have a Four of Pentacles here. I believe this person is still holding on to you guys and feeling like you're the one. You're their husband. You're their wife. You're their person. Um, they feel like you're the one. They're still holding on to you. They're still holding out hope that things will work out, that things will turn around for you guys. This is Capricorn energy here. <clears throat> I do feel like their finances are um, changing. I feel like currently this person is is like trying to save and trying to be smart with their money, their finances. But things are definitely turning around and um, the the mundane aspect of their life, their livelihood, things are changing. I feel for the better, but they're having to what they need to do is what I'm getting is that they need to um, this person. I, I feel they spend they're, they're really lax with their money and they really need to try to like hold on to it more. Spend wisely is what I'm getting from this energy. Because things are definitely definitely looking up. But things could also change if this person um, continues to like 
uh, just spin, you know, erratically. <clears throat> They're holding on to you guys and holding on to the hope that, you know, you guys will be together, that you will change your mind, that you will um, do something that turns things around for you, both of you. Nine of Cups, because right now I see you focusing on yourself. Okay, doing things for Gemini. I definitely feel like there is a Pisces, Cancer, um, could be Scorpio individual that you guys are maybe interested in currently, but um, I don't feel like you're all into a relationship with them. I feel like whatever emotional connection you have currently going on is something that just makes you feel good. Okay, I think it does something for your ego as well here. So there's, it looks like it's two different people. You have a page of wands energy. If this is not two people for you guys, this is somebody that definitely has water in their chart. Um, I think this person is also someone that is not, they don't take themselves too seriously. I feel like um, this person you know, kind of goes with the flow. So it could definitely be this this fire energy here that has water in their chart as well that is waiting on you to make a move towards them. Very lighthearted energy, I feel, here. They go with the flow. What does this person really want with Gemini? What do they really want with Gemini? Ace of Pentacles. Does that not speak volumes? They want something solid with you. I feel like this person, I'm hearing start over. They want to start over. They want to offer you something that they didn't, um, that you didn't necessarily see in them before. And I think that's stability. For some reason, I'm, they, they, were, they seemed unstable to you guys here. They want you. They want you. But they also want you to be emotionally present. Um, they want you to want them. I'm getting that for a while, for a long time, their perception of you was that you lacked emotion. They definitely want you to be emotionally present, emotionally um, mature. Hmm. They want you to be their partner. If this is two people, this is two people like, you know, almost vying for your attention. Um, this Queen of Cups, I feel, will give you what you give them. But underlying, they really want to be settled and stable with you. But they'll go along with whatever it is that they feel like you want them to go along with. And I don't know if that's a good thing. But um, you have two people, I feel, for some of you, that they're wanting to be with you. This Queen of Wands definitely wants to see more of an emotional side from you. And um, that you, you're you like not just physically there or financially there, but that you're emotionally there as well. <clears throat> the world. Hmm. For a lot of you, this is the same person. This person wants to start over with you. But they want it to be lasting this time. They, this person feels like, you know, they've learned a lot from the connection with you. They've learned a lot from connections in the past. And they want to move forward with you. This is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. Um, this person just wants to know that you feel the same way about them. I feel like this person's waiting to hear something from you, whether that's via telephone, text message, email, whatever, traveling to you or you traveling to them because I'm, I'm still getting that. It's, it's, they feel like it's up to you 
whether or not this situation moves forward. Okay. Three of Pentacles. They are willing to compromise. They want to compromise. They want to work with you guys to make this a successful connection. I don't see any wants here. I see them thinking. I see them um, negotiating within themselves, doing a lot of self-talk, um, having regrets about certain things that have gone on between the two of you, wanting to discuss you know, how you guys can work this out. But I'm getting that you guys are concentrating more on yourselves right now. Um, this person is wanting you to be a little less selfish and more selfless and um, come towards them. Make some sort of action towards them because again, they wanna be a couple with you. We have a king and a queen of cups here. This person wants to start over, but they're waiting to hear from you, okay? So that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon, bye.